Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. Mark Oppel, great to have you with us. And we talk about a familiar topic, but one that is, we need to revisit from time to time. And we have Dr. Grant Crawford with us. He is Associate Director, Cattle Technical Services with our friends from Merck Animal Health. And doctor, we're talking about worms. And again, it's, it's people have heard it before, but it's never, doesn't hurt to revisit, talking about some of the health and production issues that come with cattle and come with worms. Yeah, thanks, Mark. And, and you're right. Deworming is something we've, we've certainly heard before. It's something that most cattle producers do, uh, but it's something we take for granted. And there's a lot of different dewormers and they, they do different things. So it's important to remember why we deworm and what the differences are of various dewormers. Sure. Well, let's talk about the first one. Why? Why do we want to make sure that we are deworming cattle on an ongoing basis, doctor? Yeah, de deworming is important because cattle aren't supposed to have worms. Worms take nutrients away from cattle and they reduce growth, they reduce reproduction, and they reduce health. And because cattle aren't supposed to have worms, the immune system is going to try to get rid of them. And whenever the, the immune system is activated, it's going to take energy away from those other processes. And it's also going to limit the effectiveness of, of some of the different things we do, whether it be nutrition or vaccination programs or whatever else we're, we're trying to get value out of. If, if cattle are fighting worms, they're not going to be able to get as much programs. You know, I, I, I want you to affirm, but it seems to me what I understand that a lot of times producers don't really see the effects of, of worm issues in cattle until maybe later on in the growth cycle when they're not gaining like they should. But they're not, it's not a visible sign that they pick up right away. That's exactly right. You know, it, it's 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 not like respiratory disease where you can yeah. walk out into a pen of cattle or, or, or hoof rod or anything like that, where you can walk out in a pen of cattle and, and pick them out right away. It's more of a subacute effect that's going to maybe decrease gain, intake, health. It's 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 something that manifests itself over time and, and is something we need to take care of before it becomes a, a real acute issue. You know, you mentioned early on here uh, there are a lot of uh, dewormers out there. Let's talk about the, the differences in dewormers and, and what sets Merck apart. When we look at the different dewormers, there's basically two different classes that are used out in the, out in the industry, and those are the, the avermectins, which are the poron and injectable products that, that we see used a lot. And then there's the white wormers, products such as, as Safeguard that are applied either by a feed grade product, by a feed product, drench. And the advantage of the white wormer go straight to the gut. The oral products, they go through the hair, through the hide, through the bloodstream. They go straight to the gut where worms reside. So those products have a quicker kill or quicker efficacy, and they get out of the system a lot faster as well, which reduces the risk of resistance being built up to those dewormers. You know, continuing to deworm, you kind of you break that life cycle. Is that does that make if I'm saying that right? Breaking that cycle here that you don't have the extreme part of that issue year after year. Yeah, that's right. You know, and one thing we need to remember is most worms live on grass. There's only a small portion of worms that are actually in the animal. So if we can if we can kill those worms before they start shedding eggs back onto grass, back onto the pasture, we can start making some headway into reducing the the opportunity for those cattle to pick up worms so by doing a strategic deworming program and making sure we can stay ahead of that worm life cycle so they're not shedding eggs back onto grass we not only can clean up the worms that are doing damage in the gut right now but we can also reduce the the chance of them picking up more worms down the road Wow, well said. Doctor, we're gonna, uh, before we leave you here this morning, uh, a website where we can, uh, our viewers and cattlemen can learn more about great products from Merck Animal Health. Yeah, you can go to our Merck Animal Health website and, and you can also search for Safeguard. We have specific websites devoted to Safeguard and you can get a lot of information for, for all different species, but certainly for, for cattle and all different segments of the, of the cattle industry as well. 
Very good. Thanks for joining us this morning and talking with Dr. Grant Crawford. He is Associate Director, Cattle Technical Services. Again, our friends from Merck Animal Health. Check out that website for information. It's always a good to keep yourself updated. We'll have more Superior Sunrise coming up after this.